Okay, good morning, welcome to Supermath number 55. Supermath 55. So today, finally, on the third day of our Huron's formula chapter, we actually proved we it. We actually proved Huron's formula. And what did you think about the proof? It was pretty tough. A lot of algebra required. A lot of algebra required. So we did the same thing we did a couple days ago with the 13, 14, 15 triangle. And uh, I think we did it with A at the bottom, B over here and C over here. Drop a perpendicular down, call that H, call that X, call this A minus X, <coughs> and you just work out the area. Uh, you need to calculate A times H divided by 2. But you have two right triangles that give you two equations for X and H. You can solve them. And uh, it's a lot of difference of squares. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too bad. So uh, pick a triangle and we'll find its area. Let's say... <coughs> but first, I'm going to sneeze. How about a 20, 30, 37 triangle? Okay. A 20, 30, 37 triangle. So, S is going to be 87 halves. Okay. Is A, B, and C over 2. 20 plus 30 is 50. 50 plus 37 is 87. Alright, 87 halves. So we need S minus A, which is 87 halves minus, I'm just going to call this side A, this side B, and that side C. Okay. 87 halves minus 40 halves, which is 47 halves. Alright. S minus B is 87 halves minus 60 halves, which is 27 halves. Alright. S minus C is 87 halves minus, oh, 74 halves. Okay. So, this is 13 halves. Oh, this is going to be a crazy one. Um, Alright, let's work over here. You want me to write? Yeah. Okay. So it's the square root of 87 halves minus 40, uh, times 47 halves times 27 halves times 13 halves. Okay, well. There's going to be some primes. What's prime? 13, and I think 47 is too. Yeah. Okay, so we definitely are going to have uh, 13 and 47. Uh, how can we factor 87? Well, it's divisible by 3. Okay. It's 3 times 29. Alright. So I have the square root of 3 times 29 times 47 times 27 times 13, well, all over 16. So you can have, you have four threes here. Okay. So you have 9 times the square root of 47 times 13. I mean, 47, 29 times 47 times 13 over 4. <laughs> okay. There wow. we go. Whatever that is, we're not going to multiply that out, but that's an example. Uh, we had a 20, 30, 37 triangle, and its area, even though we have not, not, we've never even thought about that triangle before, all of a sudden now we can calculate the area. <laughs> that, it, that, it's a really neat, it's a really neat formula. It just, it just means if you know the sides of a triangle, you know the area, which is pretty surprising, actually. Yeah. Pretty surprising. And it's not going to be true for other shapes. For example, you could have a quadrilateral that looked like or, or sorry, not the quadrilateral, how many sides do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five-sided figure. But I could have these sides bend out this way also and be exactly the same length. And they would have more area. Right, so I don't know, for, for higher up shapes, I don't know necessarily the area given the sides. Because these two figures have the same sides. But not the So there area. can't be a formula that gives the area. So, it's an interesting formula. All right. 
Good job, sweet pie. Good job.